and welcome to this short tutorial in this tutorial we we are going to learn how to use the mobile app called MS to fill the information of teachers so this year sensors calls for teachers to fill their own information using an app actually the app is a and it's an Android based apps meaning if you have an iOS or a desktop you cannot use it but if you have an Android phone then you can the wonderful thing is even if you are not having an Android phone you can use that of your colleagues phone to fill your information so we are going to create or see how we can download it actually there will be a link that will be sent to every teacher to download the app that will send it to the heads then the heads will give it to you i will also convert that link into a qr code so you see that you have the qr code that you scan and it will download the app for you automatically then you go to the download folder on your phone to get it so you have a qr code or a link but hopefully it will be a qr code so when you receive the link the link will be this very thing that is showing this that you will see that i've highlighted and when you get the link installed you just tap on it then it will bring you to this part so i've opened it in a url then i can easily search for it so then it will download for you automatically in my case it's telling me that do I want to download it again because I have done I have already done that I've already done that download so I don't need I don't need to to do that I don't need to do that um, in short so I'll can I will just cancel it then I'll go to my app straightforward so let me go to my desktop and it, that is the app that is the app which i am highlighting so it comes with a coat of arm and under it is emis so the app is emis when you have this app then it means you need to use it you first open the app and it will bring you to this interface and for head teachers you can use this app to search for your school to know whether you took part in the 2022 annual school census which is simple so you only click on find a school but in this case we want to use it to fill for the teacher so i am not going to open that in another in a, a, another video you'll find how to do that as a head i will demonstrate that to you and you find it today so i'll click on sign in then it brings you to this interface like you are you have seen this interface actually this interface brings us to a place where we can select our role so select your image rule when i click on select your image rule you will see the various functions that you are to do in this case teachers non teachers head teachers and principals of schools are to select this with the school data if you are not an head you leave it then the rest will be for those so for the district statistics officers and the regional statistics and the management unit for hr and go to work with and the office staff that's those who are in the various education office either municipal district but for this session we are going to select teacher because it is a teacher that we are coming to fill or teacher and teaching staff for the head last year we did the census and we all have our teacher code that is from the census we are sent a code by sms if you have not received that of yours you can contact your head and um we'll try as much as possible to get every teacher into a code if you have forgotten it that's the teacher code so i'm going to use 
a teacher's own here to, to work with it is very simple so I'm going to type my teacher code so I'll type the teacher code and it starts with ET ET then I'll type then I'll type my password in the case where you have forgotten password you can just click on reset password and it will send it to the telephone number that you use to sign in it will send you to the telephone number that you have used to sign in to send you to the telephone it will send the password and your username to the telephone number that you have used to sign in for for teachers who are, were not or did not take part they can click on sign in and it will allow them to fill it at once but we are going to work it with the teachers who have already done it they did it last year and they want to so I've, I've typed the password and I'll click on sign in so you can see it's trying to connect if I have made a mistake it will tell me that you have made a mistake and depending on how strong your network is and so okay so it have open so this is the first phase then i am going to fill the information for the teacher as a teacher so if you are a teacher it means you are in the teaching if not then you choose non-teaching if you are a teacher you select then you type how many classes or subjects you teach so in this case the teachers own that i have selected that teacher is a head so i will just put zero there meaning that teacher is a head teacher who is not teaching because we have some heads to choose if you are in basic school you choose so in this case it's a basic school then your institution public or private so private schools or public schools. so i will select one then you select whether you are a trained teacher or you are on train teacher by train teacher you you have had you have a professional certificate that determines that okay you have been trained as a professional teacher then when you have filled all these columns like i have done if you are not an head when you are a subject teacher or a class teacher you you put the number of classes or subjects you do teach if you are ahead you only put zero day then you click on this arrow the arrow yeah it will send you forward then it brings you to the next level again it will preview all that you have done to preview everything that you have done so it's telling me that I've selected teaching I've entered zero and I've also entered basic and public now what am i left with i'm only left with to submit then when i submit it brings me to this interface where i am to select my region so in this case we are in east region then you select your district in that case i'm from lower mania so that's it lower mania lower mania club or municipal you select lower mania if you are in any other district you just go by that then you type the name of your school so whilst you are typing i know the school in which i am so as you type the name of the school if you know the head number you can put it there and you click on what search so whilst i type a tour because i know the school it brings me to and it's have given me all the names that precede with a tour. It could be that 
I can type POM and POM and when I click on search it will list all the schools that bears the name POM so that is how it is if I type Akusi so the, if you the fact that you know your school tells you that you can easily find the name of your school so it will give you the list of schools that we are to set. so in that case you don't select any other school but you select your school my own is at work so I search then when I'm done it will give you the head as at last year the name of the head teacher as at last year so in this case it's at work St. Paul Presby Primary so I'll select that and I can proceed so it have given me the name perfectly and I can click on proceed from here I'll come to the bio and in this case it is not a training mode it's a live session so I'll select live data live 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 so you select the bio data that means that I'm going to give details about my data so the name my name appears here wonderfully so then you click on the bio and select the bio data then you click on this arrow to move forward to move forward don't choose training mode because we are not in a training mode so you click then you fill your name you fill your name as a teacher as a teacher you fill your name as a teacher so I'm going to fill my first name then my surname then my other names then my sex male and female I select so then I move on with date of birth when I click on the date I can be scrolling but the best way you can use this is to just click on the year so just click on the year first then it will send you to the year then you select that of the year as fast as possible then you choose that of the month then you move on so when you are done and everything is correct you move on the marital status you select married so if you are divorced separated you choose any of them then your telephone number as your telephone number your telephone number and please it's a 10 digit number so don't bring any plus two three three or whatever just put your telephone number there then your email one you should see that if it is a required field it will ask you to fill if it's not a required field then it's there is no asterisk so you will see that the email is no mandatory that you fill but if you have an email you put your email there if not but some with Ghana card you do if and in the case where you have no Ghana card just type 0000, 000 15 characters so you you put in 000, 000 15 that's if you are not having a Ghana card but if you do if you do then you put in your your, your details that pertains to Ghana card there so I'm going to fill my Ghana card
Okay. So let me fill my Ghana card. Let me fill my Ghana card. Like I've said, if you are not having Ghana card, just put 15 characters there. If yes, then you type your Ghana card number perfectly. So I'm typing my. Then I'll enter my staff ID. I'll enter my staff ID. So if you are not having staff ID, just put four zeros there. Four zeros. Four zeros there as a staff ID. But if you have a staff ID, then you fill. Then your registered number or your licensure number. So in our case, we'll put the PT as our licensure number and I'll put my number, that's my licensure number there. Then if this money or crowbar rural bank you also do that So if it is money or a raw bank, you type the bank, then the branch. Where is this so many? If it is GCB, then you know the branch. You know the branch. You know the branch. So you know the branch. Then your account number in this case because it's a secret number i will not show it but i'm going to type the account number so i'm going to type the account number um, i want to hide it whilst i type So I'll finish typing the account number. Then my SNIT number. My SNIT number. I'll type my SNIT number. type my SNIT number then in my mode of entry which mode did I use to enter into the teaching profession which mode is it through college is it sandwich is it distance is it Jackson is it University of Education mine was through college I'll select then I'll come to my date of first appointment date of first appointment Date of first appointment. Then I'll, I'll, I'll type. In my case, I'll just select the time and I'll come to the year. Preferably, then I'll go to the year which I was appointed. Or I enroll as a teacher professionally. So, 205. In that case, September 1st. And I set it. So, if you have done it correctly, then date posted to present station. When were you posted to this present station? So,
So date posted to current station. So in my case, I'll just set the year. You could see the previous date that you picked is the one that it will review to you. So I moved to my current school in the year 2022. So 2022 and it's in March. March. And it's on 14. Then I set it. Then my current rank. My current rank. My current rank. Yes. AD1. So a standard at a one. So we have all the ranks there. All the ranks. DC, class teacher, on consent, and the continue. Principal, superintendent, instructor, all the ranks, sub 2, sub 1, you know your ranks. If you don't have any of these ranks, you choose other. Especially with private schools that really don't know their rank. And let me say this. When you come to the municipal or the district, we have only one director. And he is having director too. So, please. You can be deputy director, but... With this, I am a standard writer one. So I'll just fill it. Then date posted to rank. I'll select that date. So the year first. Then I'll choose. Okay. Select that year. Then the teacher status. Am I part-time national service volunteer or community? I'm a full-time full-time teacher then my function so if you are teaching you choose teaching if you are teaching you choose teaching if you are not teaching you have to select administration so in my case i'm the head then i'll select my role so i have class teacher basic head principal so head subject teacher so if you are a class teacher you choose if you are a subject teacher you choose if you are the head you choose if you are assistant head you choose if you are head of department for senior high school in tibet you choose but i am head for so i'll select this if you are a class teacher you only choose a class teacher if you are a subject teacher you select the subject my case is a head then what Ghanaian language do I speak? You, I select as many as so I can speak Dangbe and I can speak Ewe. So those are the two languages that I can speak. Then my highest educational I'm a degree teacher then so with academics and with my specific type of qualification specific type of qualification so I'm a I have degree in basic education then my highest that's also degree in education then my so be it Then professional dates. So my professional dates as when I which was two thousand and five and it was in July and it was twenty ninth. Then who pays my salary? 
GOG that's controller and accountant general. Private is for private others. Then we have MMD is that's municipal metropolitan municipal districts assemblies. So my own is GOG. Then are you suffering from any form of disability? No. I'll just am I suffering from any form of disability? If I choose yes, then they ask me to choose the kind of disability that I am suffering from. But in this case, I'm not suffering from any disability that I can move on to next. When I finish, it will preview everything that I have entered to see if I have made a mistake. And if I think all that I have entered is correct, I'll click on submit. And it will bring me to this end. So this is just the first part of the whole sense teacher's information. And you will see my name, you will see the name of my school, and you will see it has written me that I have done one out of two, which is this. Then the next one, class or subject taught. So do you teach? If I'm if I am a class teacher, I select. Do I teach? Then I select yes. Then I teach which of them? Because I chose basic. So that is really give me basic session to fill. If I have chosen SHS or Tibet to tell me. So I will select the subject that I teach, the subject area, then the number of specific period. So in this case, if I am teaching any of this, I only select. So do you teach? Yes. Then these options are there for you posted to rank i'll select that date so the year first then i'll choose okay select that year then the teacher status am i part-time national service volunteer or community I'm a full-time full-time teacher then my function so if you are teaching you choose teaching if you are teaching you choose teaching if you are not teaching you have to select administration so in my case I'm the head then I'll select my role so I have class teacher basic head principal so head subject teacher so if you are a class teacher you choose if you are a subject teacher you choose if you are the head you choose if you are assistant head you choose if you are head of department for senior high school in tibet you choose but i am head for so i'll select this if you are a class teacher you only choose the class teacher if you are a subject teacher you select the subject my case is a head then what Ghanaian language do I speak? You, I select as many as so I can speak Dangbe and I can speak Ewe. So those are the two languages that I can speak. Then my highest educational I'm a degree teacher then so with academics and with my specific type of qualification specific type of qualification so I'm a I have degree in basic education then my highest that's also degree in education then my so be it
then professional dates so my professional dates as when I which was 2005 then it was in July and it was 29th then who pays my salary GOG that's controller and accountant general private is for private others then we have MMD that's municipal metropolitan municipal districts assemblies so my own is GOG then are you suffering from any form of disability no I'll just am I suffering from any form of disability if I choose yes then they ask me to choose the kind of disability that I am suffering from but in this case I'm not suffering from any disability that I can move on to next when I finish it will preview everything that I have entered to see if I have made a mistake and if I think all that I have entered is correct I'll click on submit and it will bring me to this end so this is just the first part of the whole sense teachers information and you will see my name you will see the name of my school and you will see it has written me that I have done one out of two which is this then the next one class or subject thoughts so do you teach if i'm if i am a class teacher i select do i teach then i select yes then i teach which of them because i chose basic so that is really give me basic session to fill if i've chosen shs or tibet to tell me so i will select the subject that i teach the subject area then the number of specific period so in this case if I'm teaching any of this, I only select. So, do you teach? Then you say yes. If not, then you choose no. So, heads or those in administration who are not teaching, you will just select that. Then you will just work around that. It's the subject that you teach, then you enter the period. Then you for edit in my case i am not teaching so i only click on then it will ask me i said i do not teach and truly i don't teach because i'm the head i'm in administration then i'll click on submit now you can see that it has shown two out of two for me two out of two and it's saying that was pending submission to server so when i click on it i'll click on the green and it tell me sent to server and processed it will mark so you will see then i have finished with my information this is what every teacher needs to do or every teacher must do whether you are in private school or secondary school or tvet or but you the teacher you know your information and you must fill it yourself so this is just a brief to help us explain whatever we are to do. I believed this video have helped. So as a teacher, you will first download the link, or you will first download the app, sorry, not download the link. You download the app, you will install it, like we install any application that we download, then you, you get your code, that's your teacher code. It was sent to you through SMS. It was sent to you through SMS and it was sent to you through SMS so that's it now I have finished with my sensors then if you are finished and you think you you want to log out you can log out so that that's if any some teachers are not having their, their information teachers are not having their information or they are not they can install it on the app on the phone what they need to do is to just 
use another teacher's phone and in that case just place on this icon here that looks like the gear and click on it brings you to what to refresh questionnaire and use it training mode no but in our case we will sign up because I want another teacher to use it thank you so he asked me am I sure I said yes sign up brings me into the interface um in another video that one will be for the head teachers how to log in into the dashboard of your of your school and how to manage your data and to see which teachers are filling the form and everything that pertains to that i believe this video helped thank you and god bless you there is also another video that explains how a head can log in this one is for a teacher how a teacher Fill the phone.